Okay, we're going. All right, so good morning, guys. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is that I finished this book. I actually finished it uh, several days ago um, because it was really, really good. So one thing I wanted to point out, though, up at the top here it says, clever, kinky, highly entertaining. There's nothing kinky about this book. Let me just put that out there for you. If you're looking for a kinky book, this is not it. But other than that, um, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, overall impressions was that it's good. It's a quick read. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that should just go straight up. Yeah. Perfect. I wouldn't read it again since I know the ending, since it is kind of like a murder mystery novel. Um, I'm not one to reread those. But if you if you are one of those, then this is... A, Another book you can add to your bookshelf. Um, it's very well translated, but at some points it is a little bit stiff sounding um, due to some translation difficulties, I'm sure. Um, but overall, it's uh, very well translated. Um, I would recommend this if you like slightly historical murder mystery novels because this is after the war. Um, and also, if you are interested in the Japanese tattooing process and the history of it, because they go into detail of that um, as well in here. Um, it's not like deep history, but it's a little bit of the history of how it happens and um, what happens when the body gets tattooed and all that stuff. So, I highly recommend that. Second order of business is, do you remember, do you remember these? These are the allergy pills, and they are working wonderfully. So, um, if you are in Japan and you need allergy pills, opt for the $12 ones instead of the $40 ones. And lastly, um, okay, that's going to be kind of like a last two-part kind of thing. So, uh, first part of that is on Monday, I have my final kind of Enkai with my teacher's office people. Um, everyone but one person is going to be leaving so that's very sad and upsetting because I like all of the people in my office and they're all leaving me so let's see how it is so anyways I'm going to be searching for gifts for all of them over the weekend so that um, I can say thank you uh, to all their help and just accepting me as another teacher there and then on next Saturday, I'm actually going to be flying back to America for a week um, because uh, my schools have spring break for um, the next three weeks. So there's going to be nothing for me to do. And plus I found um, the flights for uh, pretty cheap. So <clears throat> I'm going to be back in America for about a week. They're going to be celebrating my birthday, which is really awesome of them. I should be able to make at least one video while I'm back. Uh, maybe you can see my house again. Hopefully I'll be able to see my kitty, but she's still at the in-laws from when Chad came here for the month. So that's that. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Today it is finally not raining um, and it's supposed to be warmer, about 13 degrees uh, Celsius. So you want to convert that I don't know what it is but it's warm enough where I just need a light jacket so anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend and I will see you next time bye